Five little mamoochies jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called a doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Truck bed, that is. Hey guys, my future. What a future. It's so bright. I gotta wear shades. Sun. Gotta like the sun, some vitamin E. Yeah, February, we'll take it. So, some people have been asking about the airlift that we put in the truck just over a year ago, but one of the first questions that a lot of people have asked, or not asked, but commented, these little things. I called them zap straps, some people call them zip straps. Zip ties. Zip ties because they zip. <laughs> They're zap straps. In or they zap. I don't know, you can call them whatever you want. So, some of the questions that we had, Shoot, 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 shoot. Some of the questions that we had when Take we two. installed the airlift, <laughs> I want to answer some of these questions. So the very first question is, was there any more leaks? What do you mean? Like this? Was there any more leaks from when you installed and we had the leak initially? Have you had any other problems with it besides the initial leak when it's we got it replaced? After we installed them and had the bag replaced that did leak, it had that slice in it, no, we haven't had any more leaks, any more problems, but we're gonna go underneath and actually check the pressure and take a look at them because I haven't looked at them since I installed them. And it's gotten cold this winter, so how does that air stay in there when it's really cold? That's just it, because sometimes the air will drop down just like in your tires and your tire pressure, in your tires, tire, tire, tire tires. pressure. You need more than one to drive. <laughs> tires. The other one was stainless steel lines or rubber lines. Depending on where you are, if it's really, really hot, would you put in stainless steel lines? I personally to would To avoid just, what? Cracking? Cracking, wearing out. And, okay. I personally would stick with the rubber. That is what the kit came with. If, you're not, if you are wondering what we put in the truck, I should have actually said, so we put in some plastic bags, filled them up with air, put them on our, no. We put in the Airlift HD 1000s in the truck just over a year ago. Would you add an air pump? I would love to add an air pump, but this isn't a sponsored video. So airlift, if you happen to see this. Okay, hit, wait, what's an air up. pump? If you pump it, like, is it a, what's an air pump? So when we did the install on the truck, we actually put our air valves at the very back, which I'll show you. An air pump allows you just to hit a switch inside the truck and it lets the air in or lets the air out. So you don't have to do it. Cool. I know, it'd be really cool. An accessory. Airlift, what are you doing? Accessorize me. Accessorize us. <laughs> so the other one, what is my thoughts after having them for some time? So we actually put these in just over a year ago. So far, I really like them. I'll go over a couple of things that I do like, some of the things I don't like, or some of the things I change, I guess, when we get down into that. I have a question. Shoot. Does it help to have airbags in when you have a camper or is it just like excess? Like, do you need them when you're carrying, like we now have a camper? So, a trailer, a trailer. A what trailer. Do you call it? Yeah, trailer. So when we originally put them in, we put them in because we had the truck camper that sat in the back of the truck. And it was heavy. And it was pretty heavy. Weighing us down. So it didn't put us over our GV, GVW, if I said that right, in the truck, but it does add a little bit of stabilization so you can add them in there. Same with pulling the trailer. It's nice to have that. So if you have the extra weight, it adds that stabilization. Stable, stable, stable. Stable. So is it like when you're going down a bumpy road, it helps it from not like bouncing, bouncing like you're on a trampoline. Bouncing like crazy or going yeah. like this, the okay, whole nine okay. yards and some of this Because I stuff. noticed it when we took it out. One of the other questions was, why did I take the wheels off and can you install the airbags with the wheels, tires and wheels on? I found it easier to take them off. It also allowed me to inspect everything. I didn't have to worry about crawling underneath. And as one, one person commented, they like to cut corners. I wanted to take the airbags off, or the airbags, airbags? You wanted to put the airbags in with the tires off because it's easier to access the coils to put them in. So I suppose you could do them without, but you'd have to like have, a, have it lifted way up and be able to get in and behind. It just makes it precarious to kind of get in there, I think. And it allows you to see everything. See, that's why she's here. She reminds me what I'm supposed to be saying to you guys. Well, just, I'm trying to figure out here. what you're saying, so I'm just trying to explain it to myself. <laughs> um, Five pounds, some people ask if I'm always, how much 
pressure I put into it. It really depends on the weight that you're taking. Don't go over the max of what Airlift recommends on whatever bags you get. But generally in the truck we have five pounds when there's nothing in it and 35 to 45 pounds when we have a load depending on what it is. Right now I actually think I'm sitting at about 35 pounds. I haven't lowered it. It's a bit bumpy when there's no no weight in the back. Weight in the back. Distribute it. Okay. A um, little bit off topic here. One of the questions was, or a couple questions wanted to know because I said there is a small lift in the truck and they also wanted to know if there was a leveling kit in the truck. Yes, there is a leveling kit in the truck and there is a two inch lift in the truck which still allowed me to use the Airlift HD 1000s in the truck and I will show you that underneath. And then again, would I recommend them? Why not? They're cheap. And no, Airlift does not sponsor this video. They don't even know I did this video. But they work great because we needed to. That camper was really heavy and we were bouncing all over. It was not good. Not and good. one of the other questions Huge was... Huge difference. Customer service. How was the customer service when we did find that leaky bag? Awesome. The customer service actually was really good. This sounds like a commercial for Airlift and it's not. But I mean, if you're going to buy a product, you want to make sure that they, it's ideal they stand behind it. If you have any issues, you can return and get one new. I mean, that's not every company does that. So thumbs up to them. So I'm going to be honest. I haven't checked the air pressure in probably nine months. And I probably should because that's just me being flat out lazy. So I haven't checked the air pressure in the bags in probably about nine months. I haven't been underneath to take a look in at least... Oh bad truck parent bad I, bad I truck parent and i love my truck not that much apparently apparently what the <laughs> heck was i thinking so let's well, go under take a look and see what we actually have going under there and see if i still recommend them or if i have a broken leaky bag because well then you'd notice that though you'd I'd, notice have, that. I'd have a problem if it's broken or leaky let's look we'll let you know i took my shades off because i realized i really have no future <laughs> <laughs> Well, what does that do for me then? <laughs> You're screwed. <laughs> Apparently. So, on when we installed the airlift, we actually put our valves in the very back, and I'm going to check it with this thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, right on the back here, oh, they haven't been off in forever. But don't you suggest doing it in the back? It makes the access way it Makes easier. it way easier, so you can go to pretty much any service station, gas station, or whatever, most anyways, that will allow you to fill up your tires with air. And they're just installed here. So let's just find out exactly how much pressure I actually have in here. And we have, in this one, 25 pounds. 25 pounds of pressure. Check this one. 25 pounds of pressure. So I guess I lied. I guess I put it at 25 pounds of pressure after I took the camper off and not 35. Let's check it again. 25 pounds of pressure. This one. One more time. 25 pounds of pressure. Oh, that's what we have in here. So they've obviously held the air, which is awesome. And all I did is I just screwed some holes into the trailer hitch bracket or whatever you want to call it, where you put your chains in. There's just one for the left, one for the right. Some people have also asked why I just didn't put a single one in there is because if it, the camper or trailer or whatever that you're putting in there, if the load's heavier on the left side, right side, it allows you to compensate for that load. Compensate for your load. This is a little backup camera that I put in. So when I'm actually putting in, I know it's off topic, but when I'm actually backing up to the trailer, I can actually see exactly where the ball is, exactly where the tongue of the trailer is. That allows me to get it nice on there. And that was a cheap backup camera. If you didn't see that video, well, bummer. Why didn't you see that video? So let's take a look underneath and see what we can see from underneath. Oh, oh it's so... Oh. Why, am I always on the floor? Why am I always on the floor? Oh, it seems to be... Uh, it seems to be... Uh, why are you guys over there? I thought you wanted to see this. I can explain. So what I see is a bag. Now get over here. Oh, come, come join the party. Let's take a look. So, airbags. 
right here. Bloop. So they just put it on the coils. Go all the way up. Look at see, look you see that. Marvy Parvy. The airline is up top, comes out of the puck, goes all the way down. Maybe we can see it better on the other side. Oh, on this side. There's the airbag. Have I had any problems with it? No. This one. In there nice. With no problems. Man, it's dirty under here. It's really dirty. Oh. Oh. I brought a flashlight. I guess I didn't really need it. So the airbags, in case you're wondering, they've worked great. We haven't had any problems after the leak that we found during the install. So what that taught me, hopefully it taught you if you saw it, was make sure you double check those airbags because we checked them when we originally put them in, but we didn't check them afterwards. Sometimes I feel so old crawling underneath this truck. But it's nice to see. It's all good. Can we see anything from the outside? Let's take a look. So unfortunately, I don't think you're going to be able to see anything from the outside. Why? Because we still have wheel covers. Uh, it doesn't really allow you to get in there to see them. But that's half the reason I took the tires off, the wheel wells off. Oh, it was easier to get at. Shot. I think I'm sorry. What the? Yeah. No, I'm not taking two or three or four or five. <laughs> Sorry. What can I say? We all want to be a star. Me, Marcy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, would we recommend the Airlift 1000 HDs? Absolutely. Like Marcy said, absolutely. They work great. They don't cost too much money, especially if you're on a tight but tight budget like we are. They do the job. They're great. No, again, not a commercial. Guys, if you're thinking about doing it, just do it. If they blew or something went wrong or they wore out, would I get them again? The answer is yes. I definitely would get them again. Highly recommend it. So if you were wondering, we recommend. If you're wondering, we recommend. That's what Marcy says. We do. So bring it home. Bring it on home, baby. Bring it home to this beautiful truck that's dirty, a mess. And yes, the airlift works. And yes, the airlift works. The question still remains, zip or zap? You leave a comment below, let me know what you call these goofy things. Zip strap. Zip or zap? Zap, zip, 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 zip. Guys, if you like videos like this and you wanna help out the channel, Marcy, myself, please smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. As Marcy always says, don't forget to subscribe and ding that notification bell so you'll be notified the next video that we put out. Videos, video, video. Or if you'd like to review on something else that you've done, we Let's have know. done so much. You're going to want to check it out. We will see you in the next upload. Boom.